Did you know that the most dangerous fat in your body is completely invisible? It hides deep inside your belly, wraps itself around your organs, and silently increases your risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes, inflammation, and even early aging. The shocking part is that many people who look slim on the outside still carry a dangerous amount of this hidden fat. Doctors call it visceral fat, and it behaves very differently from the soft fat under your skin. This is the fat that sends warning signals through your entire body, changes your hormones, raises your blood pressure, and affects your metabolism even while you sleep. In today's video, you will learn the fastest and most scientifically proven ways to shrink visceral fat, not theories, not trends, not social media tricks. Real science backed by solid studies that explain exactly why this fat forms, how it grows so quickly, and how you can turn the process around faster than most people believe. You will discover the powerful daily habits that switch your body from storing fat to burning it, the hidden lifestyle mistakes that make visceral fat stubborn, and the simple changes that create dramatic improvements inside your body in just a few weeks. You will also learn how this fat behaves differently in men and women, why some people develop it even when they do not eat much, and why two people on the same diet can have completely different results. We will talk about the foods that trigger visceral fat to shrink, the types of exercise proven to melt it faster than traditional workouts, and the overlooked factors such as sleep hormones and stress chemicals that speed up or slow down the process, these are not the common tips you hear everywhere. These are deeper, lesser known facts that reveal why many people struggle even when they try their best. Stay with this video till the end because everything you learn builds on the previous point. If you miss the beginning, you will not understand the full picture. If you skip the middle, you will miss the method that triggers the fastest reduction. And if you leave before the end, you will miss the simple four-week framework that helps you turn all the science into real results. By the end of this video, you will know exactly how visceral fat works, what makes it dangerous, and most importantly, what steps you can take starting today to shrink it with speed, precision, and consistency. Your health, energy, and future depend on understanding this hidden fat and learning how to control it before it controls you. Welcome to our channel where we break down science into simple, clear, and practical steps that anyone can use. If you care about your health and want more science-backed videos like this, make sure you subscribe and join our growing community. Let us begin. Visceral fat is the type of fat that hides deep inside the abdominal cavity. It is not the soft layer you can pinch with your fingers. This fat sits behind the muscles, packed tightly around your liver, intestines, pancreas, and other vital organs. Medical experts often describe it as the most dangerous fat in the body because it behaves like an active organ, constantly releasing chemicals into your bloodstream. Research from trusted medical sources explains that visceral fat produces inflammatory substances that disrupt hormones, raise blood pressure, and interfere with how your body uses insulin. This is very different from subcutaneous fat, which is the fat just under your skin. Subcutaneous fat is the softer, visible fat in areas like the belly, thighs, and hips. It might affect appearance but it does not pose the same level of internal risk. Visceral fat, however, is hidden, firm, and far more biologically active. Doctors warn that even people who look lean on the outside can carry a dangerous amount of it on the inside. Because visceral fat surrounds organs, it creates stress throughout the body. Studies connect it strongly to type 2 diabetes because it interferes with insulin sensitivity, forcing the pancreas to work harder every day. It also increases the risk of heart disease by releasing fatty acids into the liver, which then raises cholesterol levels. Many experts link it to metabolic syndrome, a combination of high blood pressure, abnormal blood sugar, and excess fat around the waist. Over time, this creates a chain reaction that pushes the body into a constant state of inflammation, making it harder to maintain normal health. 
A simple way to understand your risk is to measure your waist. Health guidelines suggest that a waist circumference above 94 centimeters for men and above 80 centimeters for women is a sign of elevated visceral fat. This is not a perfect measurement, but it gives a clear warning when the body starts storing fat in deeper areas rather than under the skin. Now we know the enemy, let us look at what actually works to shrink it quickly. Many people still believe that doing endless crunches or abdominal exercises will melt belly fat directly. But this idea has been disproven many times. Experts explain that the body does not pull fat from one specific area just because the muscles underneath are working. When you do a crunch, you are training the abdominal muscles, not the fat surrounding them, and definitely not the visceral fat that sits deep behind the muscle layer. Visceral fat responds to internal changes in hormones, energy balance, and overall metabolism, not to isolated movements that target one small region. The myth of spot reduction continues because the exercises themselves create a burning sensation in the targeted muscles, which makes it feel as if something must be happening. In reality, the body releases stored energy in a much more global way. Fat loss depends on the overall balance between calories consumed, calories burned, and how efficiently the body uses stored fat for fuel. Your system draws fat from many different locations at once, and the areas it chooses are influenced by genetics, hormones, and lifestyle, not by what type of exercise you are performing. Specialists highlight that even very intense core workouts do not reach visceral fat because this deeper fat behaves more like a separate organ than a simple energy reserve. It reacts strongly to blood sugar levels, stress hormones, sleep quality, and certain types of training that increase oxygen demand and raise your heart rate. This is why someone can have strong abdominal muscles but still carry a dangerous amount of visceral fat. The body simply does not respond to isolated effort in the way many fitness myths suggest. The key point is that fat loss is a full body process. When your metabolism speeds up, your hormone balance improves, and your energy demand rises, the body starts to draw more heavily from its deeper fat stores. This is why large muscle movements, full body training, and lifestyle changes create far better results than any attempt to target one small area. The deeper fat around your organs responds to systemic signals, not to tension in one muscle group. Understanding this helps shift the focus away from quick fixes and toward the methods that genuinely work with the body's natural fat burning systems. The fastest strategies for shrinking visceral fat all come from research that looks at how the body responds to intense movement, smarter nutrition, and better daily habits. One of the strongest methods is high intensity interval training combined with regular aerobic exercise. Studies show that short bursts of intense effort followed by brief recovery periods trigger a powerful internal response that targets deeper fat reserves. Research comparing different workout styles found that high intensity intervals create a larger drop in visceral fat than steady state workouts, especially in younger adults, but the benefits appear across all age groups. Aerobic exercises such as brisk walking, cycling, or swimming also play a major role because they keep the heart rate elevated for longer periods, which increases overall energy demand. To put this into practice, simple sessions of 20 to 30 minutes, three to four times a week, are enough to start mobilizing stored fat. A typical session can alternate between 30 seconds of fast effort and one minute of slower movement. The key is staying consistent rather than pushing for extreme intensity. Nutrition is another essential part of reducing visceral fat quickly. Research highlights that diets rich in whole foods, fiber, lean protein, and healthy fats help lower inflammation and stabilize blood sugar, both of which affect how the body stores fat around the organs.
Cutting back on simple sugars and heavily processed foods makes a noticeable difference because these items raise insulin levels, which encourages deeper fat storage. Some studies show that time-restricted eating or intermittent fasting can help the body access stored fat more easily by improving metabolic flexibility. Maintaining a calorie balance that supports fat loss while focusing on nutrient-dense meals creates an environment where visceral fat becomes easier to break down. Foods such as vegetables, legumes, fruit, nuts, whole grains, and lean protein sources support this process, while sugary drinks, refined snacks, and fried foods tend to slow progress. Lifestyle factors also play a major role. Poor sleep disrupts appetite hormones and raises cortisol, which encourages fat to collect around the organs. High stress has a similar effect because chronically elevated stress hormones keep the body in a fat storing mode. Aiming for seven to eight hours of sleep, practicing stress reduction methods and avoiding smoking all help shift the body toward healthier fat distribution. Other factors can speed up progress as well. Reducing saturated fats, limiting alcohol and avoiding sugary drinks can support faster changes. Individual responses vary depending on age, gender, and genetics. And in some research, males show larger reductions under the same conditions. Those with medical conditions should speak with a health professional to tailor a safe approach that fits their needs. A simple four-week plan can help bring all the science together and give the body the signals it needs to start reducing visceral fat. The goal is not perfection or extreme effort. The goal is steady progression that builds momentum each week. A typical week begins with three sessions of high intensity interval training. These sessions are short and focused, 20 minutes of alternating fast bursts with slower recovery periods are enough to activate deeper fat stores. On two other days, moderate cardio, such as brisk walking, cycling, or swimming, keeps the heart rate elevated without placing too much strain on the body. This combination gives the metabolism both intense spikes and steady sustained activity, which helps maintain fat burning signals throughout the week. Two days are kept for rest, or active recovery. Rest does not mean stopping all movement. Light stretching, a slow walk, easy mobility exercises, or gentle yoga help reduce muscle tension and keep the body flexible. These lighter movements support recovery and prepare the body for the next round of training. Balancing effort with recovery is important because the body needs time to repair itself and shift its hormonal environment toward healthier fat use. Each day includes simple dietary guidelines that remain consistent across the four weeks. Every meal should center around whole foods, fiber, vegetables, lean proteins, and slow digesting carbohydrates. Sugary snacks, fried foods, and heavy meals late at night are kept to a minimum. Drinking more water, reducing alcohol, and spacing meals within a stable eating window helps regulate blood sugar and appetite hormones. A calm and steady eating pattern reduces stress on the digestive system and supports metabolic balance. Sleep plays a major role in this plan. Aiming for seven to eight hours each night helps regulate hunger hormones and reduces the stress signals that encourage visceral fat storage. Even a small improvement in sleep schedule can create noticeable internal changes. Adding a short breathing exercise each day, such as a slow two-minute calming routine, lowers stress levels and reduces the hormonal pressure that pushes fat toward the abdominal cavity. Progress in the first week may be subtle, but internal improvements begin almost immediately. Over the next weeks, energy rises, appetite becomes more stable, and the body gradually shifts toward using stored fat more efficiently. Each week builds on the previous one, creating a rhythm that becomes easier to follow and more effective as time goes on. Monitoring progress plays an important role in staying motivated while reducing visceral fat because the changes happening inside the body do not always show up immediately on the scale.
One of the simplest ways to track improvement is by measuring waist circumference. This gives a clearer picture of how the deeper fat around the organs is responding to your routine. Taking this measurement once a week helps you see gradual changes that might not be obvious in day-to-day -day life. Another helpful sign is how your clothes fit. Many people notice that their waistbands feel looser or their shirts fit more comfortably long before the scale shows a major shift. These subtle changes are often early indicators that visceral fat is decreasing. Energy levels are also a valuable measure of progress. When the body starts responding to better training, improved nutrition and healthier sleep, people often feel lighter, more alert and more stable throughout the day. These shifts in energy are small signals that the body is moving toward a healthier metabolic state. Paying attention to daily energy patterns can be just as encouraging as any physical measurement. To maintain momentum, tracking exercise, food and sleep can make a big difference. This does not require complicated apps or strict rules. A simple note in a journal or digital document helps you stay aware of patterns. Recording your workouts keeps you consistent with your weekly plan. Writing down meals makes it easier to notice when sugary snacks or processed foods start slipping back in. Tracking sleep can reveal whether late nights or stress are affecting recovery and appetite the next day. These small records act as reminders of your commitment and help you adjust gently without pressure. Staying motivated also means understanding that consistency is far more important than perfection. Everyone has days when training feels harder, meals are not perfect, or sleep is disrupted. What matters is returning to the routine the next day. Progress with visceral fat comes from steady habits repeated over time, not extreme efforts done once in a while. Small improvements kept alive every week lead to stronger momentum and better results than trying to push for rapid changes in a short burst. When you see your own patterns clearly and stay patient with the process, the path becomes easier to follow and far more rewarding. The fastest way to shrink visceral fat comes down to three powerful pillars working together. Intense cardio and shit sessions. Wake up your metabolism and push your body to draw from deeper fat stores. Smart, steady nutrition keeps your blood sugar stable and removes the foods that encourage fat to build around your organs. A supportive lifestyle with better sleep and lower stress strengthens every part of the process and keeps your hormones working in your favor. Each piece reinforces the others, creating a steady rhythm your body can rely on. Start today, even with the smallest step, a short walk, a healthier meal, an earlier bedtime, or one simple breathing exercise can shift your body in the right direction. Small steps build big changes when you repeat them consistently. Every choice you make sends a message to your body, and over time, these messages become habits that reshape your internal health. You have everything you need to begin. Your body can heal, adapt, and improve when you give it the right support. Stay patient with the process and trust that the internal changes start long before you see them on the outside. You have got this, and your long-term health is worth every effort you invest. If you found this video helpful, Make sure to like it and subscribe to our channel for more science-based guidance. Your support helps us bring more valuable content to you, and we hope to see you in our next video.